Hey, welcome back to Ohio Means Business. Experts agree the middle market is critical to the health of the U.S. economy, but measuring the influence of middle market companies is difficult. Ohio State's Fisher College of Business and GE Capital will host a national summit on the middle market to better understand and help this significant group of businesses. Joining us to go inside the research now is Anil Makija, finance professor at Ohio State's Fisher College of Business. We appreciate your time, Anil. Thanks. We'll talk about that summit in just a few minutes. First of all, let's talk about this mysterious uh, middle market. How do you define it? Well, as you know, uh, attention normally goes to the well-resourced large firms. And of course, uh, uh, very deservedly, small firms also get a lot of attention. But there is a whole swath the backbone of the economy that lies in the middle, um, we are defining it temporarily at least uh, from ranging from 10 million revenues to about a billion. Uh, but uh, as you mentioned, uh, people really don't know much about this segment. Uh, m many of them are private firms, and so uh, this is a whole area of under-recognized firms. Typically, it's not a public company. Um, and less than a, a billion sounds like a lot, but uh, less than a billion is considered a small or medium-sized business, right? Correct, and uh, you know, th as I said, uh, given that it's no under-researched, uh, there is even some debate as to how to draw the lines. Uh, we've at least temporarily drawn the line from 10 million to a billion, which is a pretty very good range, but within that are all these uh, privately held firms, a, a lot of privately held firms. And, and we're not just talking about a mom and pop corner shop. I mean, we're talking about significant businesses like maybe a, a brewery or a, 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 a shoe uh, company, right? Sure. And and uh, uh, for example, just uh, turning to some local firms, uh, uh, R.G. Berry, uh, which is a dominant firm in the slipper industry, but doesn't make it to the large firms, would be a good example. Mm -hmm. um, another example would be a, a small investment banking firm uh, here in central Ohio, uh, headquartered here, uh, would be Lancaster Polar. Yeah, who we just heard from, yeah. Sure. Perfect examples. This middle market. Um, is it's it's very significant to the economy, isn't it? Why? Yes, uh, uh, if you look at its contribution to the GDP, uh, which is about 3.8 trillion dollars at this point, uh, it would rank like the fourth largest economy in the world, uh, right hmm. after, you know, uh, Japan, but before Germany. Wow, that is amazing. The uh, the power of the middle market is certainly there. So why is it, I don't know if neglected is the right word, but it's, it is sort of neglected and forgotten. Why is that? Well, there are a couple of things, uh, one of which is, of course, as I mentioned, larger firms are well-resourced and well-positioned. Uh, multinationals, uh, they get visibility. Uh, they have the greater ability to lobby. And uh, smaller firms, because they are known as a center of uh, innovation, have also received attention. And perhaps well-deservedly, they also have some formal advocates, uh, such as the Small Business Administration. Uh, but here in the middle, you have a whole diversity of firms, and consequently, uh, given that there are many are privately held, we know less about them, and therefore they get less attention. It, so research is hard, but is research even being done or attempted? Well, very little research has been done, and uh, that's one of the reasons for having this summit to bring attention to those issues uh, which pertain to this swath of firms. Uh, I mean, these, uh, by the way, these firms also account for nearly one-third of the total employment. And uh, perha perhaps very important to this point in time, uh, in the last recessionary period from 2007, to 2010, uh, these firms actually added nearly two million jobs. Mm. Uh, and there are, you know, if you look at the Census Bureau data, uh, this whole segment is only about 195,000 firms. In the small segment, you have like six million. And in the very large, you have only about 2,000. Now you can see that if this 195,000 with its job creation ability got attention, uh, we could learn a lot more about what they could do for the economy, their needs, etc. And that's part of the reason for this summit. That's yeah, such an important sector. You mentioned the summit. Officially, it is called the 2011 National Middle Market Summit, appropriately named. This is the first week of, in October at Fisher College, um, hosted by them and GE Capital, as you mentioned. So. The summit, what do you hope to get out of it? 
Well, several things. Uh, let me first, of course, uh, uh, recognize uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, note our appreciation for the support we are getting from GE. Uh, because, as I mentioned, this is a segment that hasn't been given much attention. We are happy to see some resources available to do that. Uh, and from the summit, we hope uh, to gather a large number of uh, middle market CEOs, uh, share some of the research that we've done, uh, and largely to initiate a conversation uh, that identifies the needs, the issues, uh, those topics that we need to research, perhaps the building of a database. Those are the kinds of things that we hope the discussion will bring out uh, so that this segment also begins to get the attention it deserves. Uh, the list of people there is uh, pretty cool. That's my way to describe it. Pretty cool. Uh, Governor John Kasich, uh, four-star general Stanley McChrystal, and then, of course, Dean Poon. Uh, from Fisher, and the list goes on and on, doesn't and it? The, and the CEO of GE, Mr. Jeff Melt, and uh, uh, CEO of uh, GE Capital, Mike Neal. Uh, other uh, luminaries include uh, uh, Mark uh, ben uh, Benioff, uh, uh, Chris Anderson, uh, Fred Smith of uh, FedEx. Uh, uh, I think we have quite a lineup, uh, Roger <laughs> Penske. Like an uh, all-star game. <laughs> well, uh, certainly. So has something like this been done before? Or uh, to this scale, anyway? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I think uh, the the segment is underserviced, and uh, this kind of attention for this segment has not been brought about before. A final thought, uh, t taking away from this summit, uh, a company that goes to the summit and learns something, what, what does a middle market company take away from this summit? Well, one of the things that we are going to also mention in the summit is that despite all the problems in the economy in the last few years, a uh, number of middle market firms actually grew very strongly. And one of the things we are going to do is highlight the characteristics of these firms. So hopefully they are a bit of a role model for everyone else. Anil Makija, thanks for your insight. We Thank do you. appreciate it. Well, the 2011 National Middle Market Summit, leading from the middle, takes place on Thursday, October 6th, and will be streamed live on the web. To register, you can go to our website, ONNTV.com, and click on the Ohio Means Business logo. You'll find a link on our webpage.